sing record and I'm waiting for the bar to fill and it does hey there everyone this is Rao Cow playing Vra this is a TSRPR 510 Bowling Alley Disturbing Castle. Okay, finally got right. It's disturb I think that was the name of the first castle in TSRP first name. There's lightning in the lightning. There's lightning in the there. And the window! Jesus hell. Yeah, but still and stuff, but yeah, but now it's the name of this castle. So that's football, Charlie. He throws footballs. That's that's his job. That's a bat. Doesn't have anything to do with football. If you ever see a football playing a bat, that that's pretty awesome. I mean, Footballs have a long history of wanting to play baseball. It's just too hard when you don't really have any arms or legs because you're actually a set of rules and not an actual person. That is surprisingly making it difficult to do things. Right, Charlie? I hope you do well in that little hole. I wouldn't go there myself, but you need some of everyone to make a world. Wow, this is the greatest symphony ever. So yeah, anyway, this is the place. Here needs to dodge one football. That's pre that's pretty hardcore, matic. And this is the part where essentially you're waiting around for platforms and jumping on it. We are, after all, approaching the end game, sort of like, sort of, kind of ish. Also, even though this is a castle, there's no secret exit. I'm saying that right now, but, uh, so I don't forget. At some point, that's that's Magikuba. He's throwing magic, and there's little iron block balls over lava. And potable jumping up and joy in cream cheese. It's it's very spicy and red cream cheese. It's not very good cream cheese. You could say, you could say that, and it would be the truth. So so go ahead and go ahead. Yeah, these are little pencils, although they don't really qualify as little. Oh my god, that was the greatest thing ever. So yeah, uh, this is the skeleton corner with the thwomp thwomps can be skeleton sometimes. I don't know what or how I did that there. Well, come on! I was so totally spin jumping. I was spin jumping like a freaking Mexican, and there you go. That wasn't meant to be racist. Just because mentioning a Nash, freaking lord, a Nat. <laughs> wow, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest zucchini ever. This is not going well. This is not going well. It's a race against time. Perhaps leprosy. Yeah, leprosy. It's always cheating and not being fair. So watch out for that. Well, freaking lord, I need to wait after wizard dude MD. Now that's always awesome, you know, standing around, not doing anything, and hoping Kamek appears in a place that is fortress. Let's try and orient it and like let's encourage him to shoot in my direction while I just kind of sit there and imitate a scarecrow. It's it's like a scarecrow, only it's filled with stairs. Freaking timer! 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 Never happened. Demo! 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 You're f oh, 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 oh. Freaking Lord, man! Oh, well, well, well. Statement of ire. <laughs> I sure told you. Hey, little Larry. You got a one hair that is split in three. Wow, only two jumps, and he's the second last boss ish. That's pretty awesome. That's what we call a very balanced uh, difficulty curve. I don't think you're meant to balance curves. Curves lack all the necessary dimensions. Be something that you can actually balance. Oh, well, I guess you could balance it visually, but that doesn't expect the fact that Mario can kick a tower. Then he goes like, hooray! He's the last of the Koopa kids is defeated and still no sign of an invasion fleet. Well, no, of course not. Some sort of hellish place. It's Bowser's Palace. Oh boy, we're gonna totally finish the game, guys. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's it's it's. I can't even fake that one. It's Bowser's Palace. It's Bowser's Palace. Bowser, he's Turtle King. Has a fence in his yard. We are going forward. The music's kind of different. I don't know what's up. It's very simplistic, though. It's very non-strict. Oh wow, there's a carpet maze. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hate these things. It's like every hack ever has a carpet maze, and I hate those. I hate carpet carpet mazes. I I don't like mazes, and a carpet maze is, is a raw is the raw essence of a maze. But with the added difficulty that you can't even see the entire path. Freaking hell, man. Freaking hell. 
It's a, it's a thing. So yeah, I guess we're we're going in. Freaking Putabo, man. Freaking Putabo. Yeah, that was the hardest maze ever, by the way. I mean, but there's another one. That's a demo. So yeah, now we're in India. It's it's a country somewhere on Earth. That's a dry bone. His face is very painful. So try to avoid his face. If you see a skeleton somewhere, you know, don't don't run into his face. It might be a cause of uh, s severe self-flagellation. So, freaking lore, man. This is all an extended demo because this is Bowser's castle. So totally the last level. Freaking potable, man. <laughs> I'm just being impatient here, and that makes me play like a ninny. So let that be a lesson for you, boys and girls. Don't be impatient when playing a game. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help anyone. And there's the magic door. It leads over there, which is there's the midpoint. Yeah, level was very hard, so it's really deserving of said midpoint. We are in a path. We can reset things if we want. That was a demo. That doesn't really show anything. Oh, it's this part-ish, like, kind of looking place. Hey there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I screwed myself, actually, which is pretty awesome. Screwing oneself, always a blast at the parties. No! Yeah, so you, uh, what I like is that you can see the, the Bowser's kids in the background there. That's pretty awesome. It's like, wow, Bowser's kids. They sure exist. Yeah, so let's do this bridge more betterly. By which I mean try to avoid any excess baggages. I probably should try and let it run forward, considering that the crux of the problem here is that this doesn't last long enough. Okay, actually it lasts plenty enough. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Why am I talking about these things? Look, it's pretty nice how Bowser uh, ripped off the head of his kids and recycled them into lamps. That's a... Uh, we, we can see he's really a model caring father. It's, uh, it's too bad that Peach can't see that, you know? She can't understand how, how, how much Bowser loves his kids. You know, he puts their head on the wall and stuff. That's, that's kind of gross, I guess. That was what we call in some circle shock humor, but it's not as shocking as the upcoming question mark qu sequel Hexapalooza. O M G I F. Sorry, no one's here! My new invasion fleet is almost ready, so my presence is needed in the second reality! Bowser! Oh no, he's in the second reality, what are we gonna do? Yeah, in the original game, there's a blue Switch Palace, which we still haven't found, apparently, that means... That's pretty awesome. We're now in... Oh no, it's a portal. So, that's gonna be it for tonight, actually, because this is a big thing, it's a big piece, it's the gingerbread of our success. So, uh, I've got two choices, I'm gonna, okay, look, guys, you get a choice. Either next time I do the Star Road, or I do whatever is at the end of this, okay? So, you, you guys can choose, people who play this game. You might notice something that I've said or have not said or said said. Uh, so yeah, Star Road or whatever's after this. It's your choice, guys. It's, uh, you know, if you're voting for one, give me a picture of a gingerbread man. And if you're voting for the other one, give me a picture of a sheep. So uh, it's one or the other. And uh, that, that's how choice works is because you have two options and you need to get one. And uh, yeah, this was also Rao Cow, by the way. And join me next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is going to be a good day for that. And uh, we'll, we'll, you, you do the choice thing. I should pr try to do a reference to something that was in that vein, but I can't think of one in the moment. So, uh, Remember guys, uh, cheese is best when it's not alive, so remember that, see you guys.